Every time I come on this show, it still makes me realize that there are psychos out there. No, no, what? what's going and on? And what's your you? plus one? You're my plus one. My plus one's PK. What <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with man them, yeah? You guys aren't careful with your footages. Spy calculator. Mm. You don't understand. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, let's go with it. Let's go. Shower. Shower videos. Well, that can't go anywhere, can it? <laughs> it can't, though, can it? <laughs> don't want to know, don't want to know, don't want to know. What do you like in a woman? I like you. You're not saying. Lippy! Why did he summon? Why did he summon? Why on earth did you just summon Lippy? We're back. By now, you might just know the format. We here at Survey Says aim to understand romantic relationships better than anybody ever has, all in the name of research. I'm Savage Dan. But when I've got these glasses on, you can call me Dan Robinson. You go and watch your partner engage in a favourite hobby, football, netball, whatever it is. You find out they're near the bottom of the social hierarchy. You? Nah. What? 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 Carry on, proceed. You go and watch your man play football. And they send him shop. And he is not the guy there. Not even close. How do you feel? What do you do? Oh, uh, family emergency. I need to go. You could have just leave. You, j oh, you just can't bear it anymore. Just don't want to. Just... Yeah, I'll be like, babe, oh my gosh, something just mad happened. I'll explain it later. I got a story for this, bro. <laughs> I was with this girl, yeah, in college, and she's like, I play football. And she was leng, like. So, you know, when a girl's leng and she plays football, it's like you've got the one. A man's never gone to watch her, but her boots were cold. And that was enough for me. Yeah. And she was doing the Ronaldo sock thing from early. This is like, this is all 10, this is early. Right. Is anyone doing the Ronaldo sock? They got some kind of quick foot. It must have been an afternoon that was warm enough for me to go out there and watch her. Rude boy. Oh my days. After about five minutes, I was <laughs> by the tree trying to, trying to play with dogs in the park. Like I was, nah, serious. It's, it's, she was just bad. You're one of them girls, you know. What's one of them girls? You're one of them girls. You watch FA Cup and you look at guys with high squad numbers because they're in the academy. And that's the ones that you DM. You don't go for the Samuel Eto's. You go for the Curtis Jones because you know they're attainable. That's what you do. I know you. You watch FA Cup. Why do you keep coming up with things about people who are embarrassing me? The rapping, this... I'm asking you questions. I want to know how you respond. I want to know if they, do, do, do these things matter to you? Oh, yes, because I feel embarrassed now just thinking about it. You get captains and, and you get vice captains, you get big leaders and then you get... Just the players, the drones. <laughs> the drones. You're a drone. You need to pattern up. You can't be a drone. So you say it like that? I will cry. You're not a drone, you know what I'm saying? You're not a drone, you're a Star Wars guy. You're not a drone, you're a drone. Get in the game! <laughs> Don't say it like that, that's kind of rude. Have you ever gone to watch someone play football? Yes. Decent game? Um, yeah, it's alright, but I mean, it's not like I'm like bare interested, but I was just going there for support. Would you, would you have been worried if they were on the bench for 80 minutes? I, I like to see my man in his glory. Yeah. yeah it yeah. makes me feel proud of you, you know what I mean? So seeing you being like the, 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 the side thing of the team kind of drives me up a bit. Do you know Manish by any chance? I know Sterling. The Football League show? <laughs> I know Raheem Sterling. You know Raheem Sterling? You know him? No, not personally. Don't do that. He's got a girlfriend and a wife at home. I know. So how do you know him? <laughs> Don't know much about football, but you know Raheem Sterling, is it? <laughs> you know what, when you see someone you're interested in or someone you're dating around like other people, like in that setting, and you realise that they're not the guy, it's, it's a big pill to swallow. It's really, it's quite a lot. Would you not try and gas them up and be like, nah, man, they should have picked you? Or you'll just be like... We're not doing that. No? We're not doing that. So you'll just leave them, but it won't affect your relationship? No. Mm. Knowing that every, every Sunday when they leave... It's like, if we get to an argument, I'll say it. 
I'm like, wait, I'm dead in football anyways. Oh, you're one of those girls. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you're trying to hit me when I'm down. Yeah. Oh my days. <laughs> if my man is not good at what he's doing, it's just not, it's not sexy. It's yeah, not fun. It's, it's not, not fun. Sexy, it's not man. enjoyable. Yeah, I hear yeah. that. Yeah. Your friends are starting to tell you that they don't want to be around your partner because your partner's a bit rubbish. Do you there. stay private with your partner? Do you try and make your partner less rubbish? Or do you start to find out all the rubbish that's in them? That conversation's a ruthless conversation. It's ruckus. It's shaking. It's, it's, it's nine on the Richter scale. So what do you, what, you, you approach them, you tell them? Listen. You approach them and you tell them and you say, yeah, listen, this is the general consensus. <laughs> I love that word, general consensus. <laughs> hey! I've been around like my male friends and like you meet the girlfriend or something and then you just think, oh gosh, she's such bad vibe. You just think, well, how, why is he with her? <laughs> I was saying the other group chat, like, oh, he's bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is, you lie to the man them and you say you've left her and she's just blatantly still in yeah, the yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. one can come to your yard no more. Yo, I'm outside. Yeah, don't come in. I'm coming downstairs. My friends always just have to deal with it. I'm not changing my man for you. The hell? Sorry. But wouldn't you want your man to be with your friends like like? No. What makes someone rubbish? Plenty. It's just it's bad social and motor skills, man. <laughs> it's just bad <laughs> skills, like. Yeah. It matters. If your missus is bad vibes and she's just she's just boring, she doesn't get wrong with the banter and she's just like, oh. But you don't want a girl that laughs too hard. So what do you? What do you I want? want a, I want a woman that can socialize, like be able to have a conversation with other women and other people. If you're just there sitting and and you only just want to talk to me, go socialize these girls, these women here. Go make a friend. You know when you got a bridge and this gal just never lets him come out, always bothering him. She, she might even be there sometimes. Yeah, you're out, bridging, pulls up, this gal's there. It's oh, like, that's there, the, that's there. You know them ones. So yeah. you might say, yo, release, release clause, man. <laughs> If I like him, then I don't care about What do else. you like? What do I like? Yeah. What in a man? Yeah. I like her uh, on his grinds. I like a man that likes to work. Um, I like a man that is not too funny, because I like to be the funny one. I like Shut up. <laughs> I'm not here for it. Don't want to know, don't want to know, don't want to know. What You're do so you like much. in a woman? I like you. You're not so... Lippy! Lippy? Why are you so... <laughs> Well, Libby, if you're watching this, you've been summoned. We need you here. Wow. Your partner has a habit of making videos on their phone and it annoys you. What videos? You can decide in a minute. <laughs> the video never goes on any socials or anything like that. Do you start to wonder where these videos are going? I need to see the footage, man. I need to see it. I want to see it. It depends on the gender, you get me that? Like, if a man's doing it to a woman, taking footages and that, that's a bit mad. Yeah, you yeah. Like, let's, let's be honest. But if your girl is on a footage thing, <laughs> you have to look at yourself in the mirror like, yo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying so, right. What about even if it's a video of... Shower. What? <laughs> no, man, no, but you go. My girl's doing like mad videos and then... Say, what like, videos? I don't know, she could be taking like a provocative video or... A provocative? Mm, why not? Might as well go there. If you send me a provocative video or photo mm -hmm. and you've got multiple provocative videos, where were they going before? What does your camera roll look like? Sometimes not, um, not videos, but sometimes pictures of the aftermath. Uh, aftermath of what? Jesus. Of the shower or the other places. What is, what is the picture of them? The devastation that's been caused, the chaos that's happened. Sometimes you just need the pictures of like, I did that. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to have footage on your phone, you better make sure this is kept under wraps. You're, you don't have some easy password that anyone could get to, all that kind of stuff. Spy calculator. Mm. You don't understand. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs>
maybe I have a burner account. Pardon? Go on, go, I want to hear where you're going with this. And I have a persona. What's this persona? Your, your alter ego? Yeah, Major Mims. Major Mims. And I don't know about this Major Mims, I just know about Mims. Yeah. That's a problem. They say I do find out about Major Mims, I'm saying, what? what? I found out was, my girl was doing all these madness and I ain't seen this. So what does it make it to socials? Oh God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's seen videos being taken that never end up on social media. Mm -hmm. Where do they go? Just into the stratosphere? Into the iCloud. I take pictures of my mortgage. <laughs> 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 That's all I'm going to say. <sighs> you find out months into your relationship that your partner was frequently in fights in school and worse still, frequently lost. Uh, mm -hmm. oh. What do you do? <laughs> oh. oh, that one caught me off guard, boy. <laughs> What? <laughs> they kept losing, man. Like, they got a zero and eight record. I will think that's better than she frequently won. Because <laughs> it's like, why am I with a woman that's winning fights <laughs> all the time? Did you have a fight in school? Yeah. Did you win any? One. How many did you lose? I just had two. Oh, you lost that one? One, one, yeah. You definitely you lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's like getting sent to the shop and all those things. I, c I can maybe forgive it because it's years later and maybe who you are now is uh, a man of stature and confidence. And that wouldn't happen to you now, but it depends like, if there's evidence as well. If there's like videos online, it's a bit peak. Oh, evidence is bad. But as we've grown up, there's a lot we've forgotten from school. Yeah. But there's a lot we've stored. Yes. And you can't walk into a restaurant and then his schoolmates like that. Remember that guy? Again, this is like a man trying to pursue a career that just ain't for him. Right? He's got a heart. He's got, got a heart. heart. That's, you have to look at the, the heart. No, but you, have you ever seen a man hype up here yeah, and just get cleared by whoever's fighting him? And it's just like, see, why don't you just keep quiet, man? You see, when you're fighting, yeah, you don't want your girl on the sideline. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's, With the towel <laughs> and the flat cap. <laughs> Ready to, that is the worst. Don't, no, I can see myself doing that though. Don't cheer me on. I don't want to see my missus. Go look from the background. I think it says quite a lot about your character. You're, you lose, but you're willing to get back in there. No, that means you can drive me into a loss <laughs> with you. That's bad. What would you do if your girlfriend's the boss of a gang? Wow, that is... Very Northwest. <laughs> no, these, these are things that happen. You know what I mean? You take your gal around your friend's gal, your friend's guy's backing off. <laughs> At least he was the boss, he was a leader. That's one thing I'll take from it. Yeah, but I'll be scared. What's your colours? What's your, what's, what's your name? What's your tag? Who's he banging for? I need to know. Like, uh, Queen of the South! Mendoza! Imagine, what's her name? Mendoza, what's her, what's her first name? Do you know Queen, have you watched Queen of the South? I haven't. Mendoza! Imagine Mendoza! Mexican cartel is my girlfriend! Ah! What do you do if you find out your partner has been secretly sending anonymous DMs to Aloni about your relationship? Woo! Aloni! Aloni! <laughs> There's a lot of net stuff that puts me off. Mm. And that's a big one. If she does that deep down, she don't rate you because it's not like it's not like we post things to Aloni for, for, for advice and real help. It's content. It's, it's content. just content. Is it, is it not meant to be for advice? Because I feel like isn't she meant to give you advice on your relationship? People just want to get stuff off their chest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I if I if I really feel you, I'm not trying to even embarrass myself by letting that be heard by someone else. It's not dependent on the advice, it's dependent on the fact that you spoke to the internet about our thing. These things sound so stupid to dump someone over but I will do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A million yeah. percent. It's like having the burner account. I don't understand, like, because you're two different people. You've got to go. If it's good information, would you tell your partner that your babes, I did this with Aloni? I'll, I'll be so and angry. she said this. I'll be so angry. I'll be mad. That's shame. Why you never tell your family, your friends or someone? Why are you telling Aloni? Tell PK, like, talk what? to PK. What? That's your friend, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't want no relationship advice from PK. I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I don't want none. 
From when she follows a lonely, she's a boo, she's bulky. She's a bulky, bruv. Cause a lonely is misconstruing the world, putting the, the, the young kids in the wrong direction. She's got the girls thinking everyone needs to be in congestion charge zone. So oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alone is the worst! Okay, I, I wasn't aware. Bring back Trisha Goddard. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back Trisha Goddard. <laughs> we got a loan <laughs> now. Bring back <laughs> Trisha Goddard. I'll be petty back and I'll send DMs. Yes. About his situations and his trauma and all of that stuff. Trauma? And Ooh. just, yeah. So, when, so, exactly. So, when you read it now, you're thinking, wow. Oh, this sounds a bit like me. Yeah. Your partner gets through to the final casting of Love Island and says that you need to keep your relationship on the low hey. for them to go on the show. What do you do? Yeah, I'll keep it quiet. Team player. No, it is. There's got to be some kind of financial contract involved. I need to, I need um, a release clause. I'm a man of pride. I'm an old school man. I, I, I'm, I'm like them 80s black and white films that are on at three o'clock. I'm like one of those guys. I go to the factory, I work hard. You don't need to go on Love Island. Surely you more than most should understand the whole Love yeah, Island yeah, yeah, conundrum. Yeah, yeah. You I'm were this close. Huh? You were a reserve. Well, it's about to go on Love Island. They wanted me, yeah. They wanted me. Who's a reserve, yeah. What do you mean swear? This is the best looking guy well, on okay, YouTube. Okay, whoa, whoa, calm. Best looking guy on YouTube. It's true, but calm down. You sound surprised. <laughs> <laughs> if she's doing Love Island, I can do my Love Island while she's in the island, you know? <laughs> yeah. Arguably. She obviously is going to go and do challenges. Exactly. Lips she's in man. She's got lips up and bare man in the challenge. Have to in between their face. Have to do my own yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah, they've man. got to move the milk from one person to the next one. Hide away. It's acting though. Let me play my position. Sorry. It's about the bag, no? It's about the bag, but that is... I'm trying to put you in a mansion. <laughs> That's taking it too far. How far is too far knowing you've got a girlfriend outside? So what are you going to do in the hardware? Everything but sex. Kissing's fine, but nothing... Kissing's fine. Kissing's very intimate. This is a good deal. Yeah, it's fine. Do you know but you kiss your friends, though, no? Huh? Kiss me right now, then, if you kiss your friends. No, I'm not saying me. I'm just saying, in general, like... I'm pretty no. sure you kissed your friend. Pretty sure you kissed your friend on a drunk night out. Oh, it's fine. Excuse me? Mimi, guess who went in to the Love Island house ahead of Miles? He would have probably come in at Casa Amor. Ovi. Ovi. You don't even know who that is. That's all. Yeah. Oh, he's all chocolate, tall. Mm. Ovi came in ahead. Probably a good decision in hindsight. Probably. Even my mum said it was a good decision. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, I'll keep it up, but I'll keep it up, but me and my mum was watching Castle More. I was watching everyone go in the show. And she saw Ovi and she looked at me and said, son, you're very good looking, but you ain't getting on that show. I said, why? She said, they've got him. Yeah, they've got him. Yeah. It's true. Ooh. But I was a good reserve though, last minute. Yeah, a good reserve. I'll take it. Sub. <laughs> I've actually applied four times. But, um, <laughs> You'll be great on there. I think we're going to have to try and make something happen, you know, because I just... I think, I think we all kind of deserve to be on there now, nah, at this point. I don't think I can date a man who thinks he's going on Love Island. What's that about? What is that about? Oh, how would you feel if you split it with the girl that is his pretend girlfriend? Oh. But this, that could have been our 50 bucks. He needs to steal it. You know, he's the, then he's the bad guy. The whole, the, whole, the whole country don't like him, though. Yeah, you had a girl. So what do you want, the world or me? I want the bags. If you're doing the numbers. Yeah, you're out of there, man. I would have broke up with you for a long time. I can confirm, survey says, if I had been allowed to go into that house, that would have been the last ever Love Island. Your partner invites you to go on a holiday with them and you say yes. As time goes on, more people are being added to this holiday, including a friend of your partner who you don't like. What do you do? I know what you should do, but tell me what you do. I know what my woman, <laughs> I know what I want my woman to do. Do what? No, you tell me no, first. No, you tell me first. Oh, no, you're thinking, so you think. I've already got my answer. Go on. Depending on the gender of that friend, if it's a male, 
we're not going, none of us are going. <laughs> holiday, holiday done, everybody. I'm going. You think as your boyfriend's not going on holiday and you, that he's meant to go and you're going to go? Batman can't tell me what to do. I'm 100% yeah, going either way. Your man's a patty way. then. He's a patty. I'm going either he's way. He's a patty. Have you got any friends who guys have been like, mm-mm, she's bad, bad news? Yeah, you have. yeah. No, I, I've, I've had it before in just in conversation where you can just tell that certain men wouldn't be interested in you if they think you hang out with a certain type of girl or she's like a close... Are you the girl or are you... I beg your pardon? I'm have to ask you questions. You could be though. You know that, innit? Of course you could. You could be. I'm not that girl. I'm gonna be pity and just invite someone. Pardon? <laughs> nah, this is not your holiday. <laughs> yeah, but if you invite other people, I can say, oh, you know what? Can I bring a plus one? No, no, what? What's going and on? And what's your plus one? Yeah, I'm the plus, you're my plus one. My plus one's PK. Brother. What's going on? What's going on here? There's always a, a danger friend, for example, right? I don't even like the idea of my man not being like, kind of having enough willpower to not be like influenced by the, the silliness that your brethren wants to do. That makes me even look at my guy even funny. Oh, well, because your brethren's here, now you want to be somewhere. I have to be there everywhere he goes. Like, I'm going. Why? Why? Where am I going? There's other people there. there more people, like so you said, more, people, group. more people's coming on yeah, the I'm, I'm, I'm going to be with you. Yeah, but what about when he has a breakout, when he breaks out with the boys? Yeah, I'm going to be there as well. I'll be down with the lads. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Stay in the villa. What about when even more rubbish friends are being added with no girlfriends, no boys? <laughs> it's becoming a lad's holiday. What if, yeah, what if the girl is like very promiscuous? My friend. Your friend. She's very promiscuous. I would have a problem with that. Do you want to fly home? Yeah, I'll go home. All right, no problem. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Nah, nah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Swear. 100%. Okay, cool. Then I'll be chilling with PK. He's making me laugh. Back home? Yeah. That's all right, I'm in Bifa. I'll have the last laugh. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, my watch. <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs>